Hey everybody, Chris from Dogecoin Live here. Welcome. We're going to be talking about this pullback that we saw last night. A uh, big dip in the market. Some could call this a buying opportunity and some could call this uh, clearing out some uh, long liquidated pos positions and getting ready for the next big run. We're going to explore all of that in this video. Please be sure to subscribe to the Dogecoin Live channel if you haven't already and hit that little notification bell. You can be notified when my new videos come out. So be sure to uh, like and uh, subscribe. Well, we've been on a big bull run lately. Uh, we look at Bitcoin at 22.5 right now. If we zoom out and we go to the four hour, we see this big run that Bitcoin has been on through the month of January, up over 30%. So that pullback is this little red candle right there. So overall, you know, that's not that's not too bad. You know, compared to where to, to where Bitcoin was, and if we look at Doge and Doge's run as well, because Doge was down here just below seven cents, uh, so came up uh, nine point one, actually hit up to about nine point three, and then this pullback happened. This is on the four hour here, so we see this pullback here. Uh, so still in good position, uh, solidly above eight cents, but we don't know. What that next move is going to be right now looks like the stock market. It hasn't opened yet while I'm uh, making this video. Uh, looks like pre-market is down a little bit. Uh, but while the stocks are trading, uh, lately I've seen that cryptocurrency is not as volatile uh, as the stocks trading along. So, so we'll be watching that. Uh, we've got Ethereum at 1540 right now after, after the pullback. Uh, Algorand at 23.4, Sheeb is just under 12, uh, has has touched touched right below 11 here, and now at 11.2, and Avalanche uh, touched right below 17 dollars, now up at 17.2, and Cardano is an interesting one. Uh, there was this big jump that Cardano had uh, yesterday morning, and it has pulled back down to 35 cents. So that's the overall view of the market. While I was looking at the charts uh, last night before the big pullback, I had noticed this sort of consistent downward movement and drew this line and said, okay, it looks like this could become a downward resistance. And is this something that Dogecoin is going to continue to fight? But then it just dropped. So what's going on? Well, uh, here's, here's the Coindesk article. We've got Dogecoin and ETH lead crypto market pullback as bulls take a breather. That's right. We had, you know, 30, 35% gains for the month of January so far. Hard to continue that and sustain that upward momentum. So bulls take a breather. Uh, we had a drop of about three and a half percent overall, and that is not unexpected. Uh, as, as we saw that, um, there were liquidations. Movements caused upwards of $173 million in longs. Bets on higher prices to be liquidated. Uh, and that's between Ethereum, a lot in Ethereum, uh, some in, in Bitcoin as well, uh, that we saw. Avalanche was a major drop, about 7.5%. Uh, that and that happened but you know things will come back right and that's a pullback uh consolidate at a lower level some call it you know a big dip you know buy the dip so we could be seeing a lot of that as well here's the uh, decrypt article dogecoin cardano lead crypto dip market sheds 27 billion overnight okay while well, we look at the the, the coin market cap top cryptos and what we see is despite the pullback, Bitcoin still up six and a half percent over the past seven days. But Ethereum took more of a hit over the last 24 hours, down 4.8 percent here, down 1.8 for the week. And here's Dogecoin still solidly in ninth, uh, but down 5.6 percent over the past 24 hours and down 3 percent over the past week. So, uh, so the pullback wasn't a surprise, shouldn't have been surprised, hard to maintain that continuing bull rally. Bitcoin, ETH, Dogecoin slide, this is on Benzinga Crypto. Uh, 
Crypto's in for a very interesting rally or short-term pullback. So, so what is it going to be? So uh, a little bit of negative news. Um, uh, the Dow Jones was uh, added a little bit on, on uh, Tuesday, but overall equities were mixed. S&P and NASDAQ were down a little bit. A uh, little bit of FUD about Binance kind of mixing um, uh, assets between customer funds and uh, and crypto assets that should be in, in in separate wallets. I don't think personally that this is going to like kill Binance. We're not going to see Binance get liquidated or, or go bankrupt or something like that. But how they're handling um, the, the funds in, in, the, in, in wallets and such uh, is a concern, though. I, I know, I, I remember it was Misha Bohr on on Twitter talked a lot about uh, proof of assets and and whether the uh, whether Binance really had uh, all of the Doge coins to support all of the Doge that had been bought on the Binance platform. And there never seemed to be a really good answer to that. And this raises some more questions as well about about proof of assets. And I think Binance has a lot of work to do in order to uncover all of this. Uh, Bitcoin consolidating after making a five-month high. The recent rally couldn't break above the 23,500 level, could pave the way for a minor dip toward 22,000. Too many big macro events ahead that Bitcoin won't do much of anything. When all the dust settles, Q4 GDP, Fed's preferred inflation gauge, the FOMC decision, which is going to be next week, is going to be 25 basis points that the United States interest rates are going to be raised. There's going to be 50. If it's 50, that could be bad. We'll see 25 probably is already priced in. Uh, strong resistance could, should come at the 25,000 level. Bitcoin's rally is about to get very interesting, or it could be ripe for a short-term pullback. So, so that's where we are in, in kind of looking and gauging uh, the Bitcoin price. There's uh, some... Uh, Opinions from Michael Vandepop and Kaleo. And Kaleo says, Rally, really don't see this holding. BTC starts the impulse move up to 30K. So there's still a lot of bulls out there that are predicting uh, this, this uh, early 2023 bull run to continue. If Bitcoin turns around and goes up to 30K, we would probably see Dogecoin head up towards 10 cents. Uh, that would be the move that we would that we would see for Doge up there. But right now, uh, following the dip, it was kind of a little double dip. So there was a chance to pick up Doge and it, uh, it hit down to 8.16. Uh, then and and then overnight we saw some gains and then a little minor pullback again. So we could be trading sideways here between 8.3 and 8.5. I'm tracking about 8.45 right now with this blue line. Uh, and here's that nine cent level that we were kind of battling up and down around over the past few days. Now we're down to about, you know, a little below eight and a half cents. So we'll see whether that consolidation continues at that level or another move is to be made. It'd be interesting to see what the stock market does today. If it pulls down, we could see cryptos come down a little bit too. So that's my take. Please leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about uh, Dogecoin's price overall crypto. Are we going to continue to see the, the, the bull run, little mini bull run of 2023? Or was that it? We already had it. And now we're going to see a bigger pullback due to economic headwinds. Uh, give the video a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to Dogecoin Live. I appreciate the support. We'll see you next time.